to disconnect. Hey, Shalom. I want to start off saying, Ka'ala Yumla, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ba'ashem, which we give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. That thou might shall not combine the highest claim, shall you ask Allah, which means give them honors to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great millstone, who teach you well. Shalom, wa hala wa khiya, shall you ask Allah, which means peace and love to the lack of Israel. Come on with you again with another lesson. This is the brother I know from the Jimmy's Memphis account. Let's gonna be on this. I had done this lesson earlier in the morning, but somehow my phone, you know, well, I lost everything in my phone, you know, everything got deleted, so, Lord willing, um, I just want to do this, do this lesson again, second attempt, you know. But yeah, this uh, lesson was just uh, on peak season, spiritual uh, peak se season, you know. You know, um, down here, you know. Well, throughout the globe, you know, Amazon, I'm going to do Amazon because that's really like the hot topic, you know. Amazon, you know, go and shit. But, you know, peak season, I'm going to be in that. And it's spiritually, you know, with the uh, video a day. You know, I'm gonna get into it, Lord willing, be edified. This is um, from the article Amazon. What does peak season mean for employees? It says uh, it was published November 29, 2019. Amazon's, I'm gonna get into it. It's an Amazon orders are pouring into warehouses around the world as people wish to buy Christmas gifts and take advantage, take advantage of Black Friday deals. But for those fulfilling these orders, Peak season is workers call the one up to Christmas. It's not especially festive, you know, because during peak season, basically when the so-called holidays is coming in, you know, so-called holidays. But it's a, it means this the uh, this what it mean peak season. It means long hours, hard work, and for some difficult decision, you know. So, hey, peak season, man. Apply this spiritually, man. It's time to put in the work. It's time to label, you know. Go harder, man. You know, we at the finish line of this, man. It's time to sprint. Give it all we got, man. You know? So, it's spiritual peak season, man. You know? They say long hours, hard work, and for some difficult decision, one young woman working at an Amazon warehouse in the United States, U.S., this guy's driving hundreds of miles to drop her child with his father for the whole Christmas period. Her schedule means she cannot look after him, man. You know? She posted a picture of herself and her child in the, in the calm Facebook group. And, and that's pretty much it, man. It, this is what it means, long hours, hard work, and for some difficult decision, you know? And this one here from businessinsider.com. I'm just reading the, uh, the title of it. <clears throat> it said, Amazon Warehouse employees speak out about the brutal reality of working during the holidays when 60 hours are, oh, it's like when 60 hours, weeks are mandatory, you know? It's, it's mandatory, and ambulance calls are common, man. You know, so during peak season, man, you can't really take off, man. You know, you can't take off. You got to work your 60 hours a week. That's mandatory, man. You know? So if these niggas can work 60 hours a week, how much more of us, man? By doing a video every day, man. You know, you can do a 5, 10 minutes, 15, however long it be. You can do a video every day, man. And they don't add up to no 60 hours. You know? So, hey, man, hey, they can do it carnally. Well, how, how can we can't do it spiritually, man? You know? So, right, man. So, hey, that's what it means. Long hours, man. Dedication. Hard work. You know? Long hours, man. You know, but scripture say meditate there every day and night. Then your uh, let's just, let's start with that. In the book of Joshua, I think that Joshua. Let me see. What's that? Eight. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh, man. Hey, my phone was shit. It. Let 
Oh, just one eight. It said, This book of the law should not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success, man. You know, so meditate, man. Go to the meditate. Try to make it quick. I gotta hit the plantation. Haggai, if it load up in the Hebrew. Haggai, you know. Meditate. Look it up. It said, uh, meditate, to think deeply or focus one's, one's mind for a period of time in silence or with the aid of chant for religions or spiritual purpose is a method of relaxation, you know. So, hey, basically just meditate, man. You just could say study to show that self-approved, man. This, you meditate. You meditate on the scriptures, man, you know. So, wait, it said, um, and then thou shall make that way prosperous, man. And then thou shall have good success, man. You know? So let's uh, get book of uh, First Thessalonians 1 and 3. It said, Remember, remember when, I'm going to start at 2. First Thessalonians 1 and 2. We give thanks to the Messiah always for you. All make mention of you in our praise. Remembering without ceasing your walk of faith. Wait, without ceasing, man. You know? Without ceasing, I think the word cease itself mean uh, to come to an end, man. So without ceasing, you know, they said remember without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love, you know, and patience of hope in our Lord Yahweh Shammashah and the say of the Most High and our Father, known brethren beloved, your election of the Most High, man, you know. So right, man, hey, that's what we want to be part, of, be part of, you know, that election, that on um, that chosen. You know, that's uh, selected, you know, pick out. You know, we, we want to be part of 144,000, man. So it said, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. Well, got your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know? But it said, uh, without ceasing your work of faith, man. What the book of James say, man? The second chapter. James 2 and... Uh, I'm going to have to highlight my stuff again. James 2 and 17, even so faith, it, if it had not works, it dead been alone. Yeah, man might say that has faith, and I have works. Show me that faith without that works, and I will show thee my faith by my works, man. So, hey, time to go harder, man. We at the end of this. Hey, the family of the word is, is coming, man. So you want to give it all you got, man. You don't want to be left thinking uh, you can you can do more. Now, I was in that position before, man, when um I think two years or a year ago when they had the YouTube shut down. I feel like I could have done more through the spirit, man. And I was sad. I was depressed and shit, man. But brothers had to come for me, man. You know, I don't want to be left like that again, man. You know, that's a terrible feeling, man. You know? So, hey, it's time to just go hard and, and just do the, do the work, man. A video a day, man. You, you, can, you can do it a day, man. You know? You can do it, man. You got to believe in that. You got to have faith in that. You can do a video a day, man. You know, just meditate on the scriptures. You no. Know? Hey, you can cut down meat from your diet, you know, eat it on um, plant based, you know. Look at our forefathers, man. The Lord was dealing with uh dealing with our forefathers who done that, man. The uh Andrews, Daniel, you know, cut out meat, you know, from your diet, you know. You get John since I said that, John says twenty six. It say, uh Yahweh Shah answered them and said, Very, very I sound to you. Is this it? Yeah, come. So, like, I'm going to read the start back over. Yahweh shall answer them. The point of 27. Yahweh shall answer them and say, Very, very, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the milkers, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perishes. Right. <laughs> Don't labor for that. If these niggas can work uh, without uh, 60 hours a week, non stop, no, no um, taking off. You can't even take off if you sick or not. How much more of us, man? Scripture said be instant in season and out of season, man. You know? So it said, labor not for the meat which perishes, but for the but for that meat which endure unto everlasting life. Hey, Lord said, you love me, feed my sheep. 
you know? Give him no risk, you know? He's like, you're in trouble, man, <laughs> you know? But uh, it's like, he said, but for that meat, for that meat, which endure unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man should give unto you, for him had the most high, the Father sealed, you know? So, right, you know, endure unto everlasting life, you know? Labor for that meat, you know? Uh, First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. First Corinthians 15, point of 58, I'm going to start at 57. It said, But thanks be to the Most High, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Yahweh Shai, whom I said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yeah, how about some of shot for as much as you know that your label is not in vain in the Lord, you know? It's a always inbounding. Grow. Let me go, look this up, man. I don't know why my phone going slow and shit, man. Abounding. Get in the Greek. Strong's G, 4052. Perisuo. Perisuo. Okay. It said, to exceed a fixed number of measure, to be left over and above a certain number of measure, man. And, and that's what we about to do. We about to exceed the three videos a week, man. We finna do it every day now. And before the decree went out, brothers were pu pushing out two or three videos a day. Just just that day alone, man. You know? So, hey, hey we can do it, man. You got to believe in that. It's faith, man. Pray to the Lord, man, to strain you. Strain your faith, man. You know? Yeah, you want to keep balance and pace yourself. Hey, but it's time to go hard, man. Fight for your crowns. Make your car election sure, man. You know? Our labor not in vain is the same, man. You see? I'm going to read that again. It said, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Man, you want to go in this, uh, grow in this thing, man. Live in waters, man. You know? I always abound in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You have so much shy, you know, and that's what we laboring for. We laboring for that penny, the kingdom of heaven, everlasting life, our crowns, you know, our salvation, you know. So, the, hey, it said the, um, in the Luke, the 10th chapter, I believe, the, um, the labels are few. Pray to the Father. Let me grab that real quick, man. You know, Luke 10 and uh, 2, it said, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the labors are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord, you have a share of the harvest, that he will send forth labors into his harvest. Right, man. And that's what we should be praying to, man. Because once the elect gets sealed, we're getting out of here, man. You know, we getting out. We going home. You know, <laughs> everlasting vacation, man. You know. We got to have every nation, every heathen nation underneath us. Stone our Lord, you have a shot, man. We go, hey, we look for a new heaven and a new earth with daily righteousness, man. No more back pains. No more tears, man. No more the curses, man. You know? So, they say, give him, let's grab that, man. Isaiah, maybe 66. Nope. Let me see, can I find it? What this, 62? Yeah, Isaiah 62 and 6. I said, Watch me upon their walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold at peace day nor night. Ye that make mission of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest that he established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the Lord. In, in the earth, so like it. Until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth, man. So, why, we, we, we not, hey, we're supposed to be doing this every day. Keeping not silence, man. You know? It, it's all the spirit, man. You know, you got to know when the, uh, when the spirit is talking to you, man. You know, let me get Job 9, 29. It said, if I be wicked, why then labor I in vain? You know, Job 9 and 29. If I be wicked, why then labor I in vain? So what's the point of you laboring if you uh, if you being wicked, man? You might as well just give up, man, if you being wicked. Because the Lord will remove you anyway. He said, I will spill thee out of my mouth. You know, and you got to remember, every, every day is... is uh, uh, it's cleaning, you know. What does it say? Spring cleaning, <laughs> sort of, uh, sort of speak, man. 
But that's the point. If I be wicked, why then lay by in vain, man? We not being wicked. Lord willing, y'all about showing shout out this out. We not being wicked, man. We're doing the work of the Lord in truth sincerity, man. You know? We're doing it in truth sincerity, man. So we're not being wicked, man. You know, so our labor is not in vain. You know, let go at Hebrews 6 and 10. Give it a close. It said, For the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. As good said, he a man that he should not lie, you know. Verse 11, And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. Until the end, it said, Those that endure to the end, the same shall be safe. You know, that ye be not slothful, right? Why stay here all the day out of, man? You know, labor, man, endure. You know, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through uh, faith and patience inherit the promise, man. You know, close on Hebrews 4 and 11. Man, this phone suck ass, man. Esau shit, man, this technology shit, man. This Hebrews 4 11, Slock, it's a, um, I'm going to start at 10. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as he is the most I did from his. Let us label, therefore, to enter into the rest, into that rest, Slock. Let us label, the, uh, let us label, Hebrews 4 11, let us label, therefore, to enter into that rest, Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief, you know. So let's labor to enter to that rest, man. To y'all about some our rest, man. Not our own rest, because the scripture said this is not our rest, man. It is polluted. It should destroy you with a soul destruction, you know. So let's continue doing the work, man. You know, the Lord, will, I hope you ratify you going on that, man. Spiritual peak season, you know. Let's just uh, let's get it, man. You know, our crowns, man. It say, let no man take their crowns, man. Be faithful unto death, man. You know, so with that, once again, give our praises. I'm glory to you. How about you, Shai? By Shem, Wachakodash. The bonus to the apostles and elders who great men stone teach you And peace and love to the lack of it. So with that, Shalom. Kwame Ashala. Wa Baba.